Okay, so today we're making warm and cozy lentil soup. It's a really easy recipe and it goes perfectly whether it's a cold winter's day or a hot summer night. Um, this is a really easy go-to recipe when you want to incorporate more lentils and things like that in your diet. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is rinse your lentils really well. These have already been rinsed under your room temperature water. Uh, I rinse them at least three times so they can get all the dust and debris off. So what we're going to do before we even turn the heat on is we are going to transfer our red lentils into our saucepan. And then we're going to get our liquids in. Now I like to use vegetable stock or chicken stock, whatever you've got on hand. Quite frankly, if you don't have any stock, just use water. Maybe bump up some of the other flavorings a little bit. We start with our water first. Then we put in our stock. And I also like to use low sodium or no sodium stock so that I can really control the amount of uh, salt in the recipe. If you're using stock that has added salt, you can, you can just leave out the salt that we have in the recipe. Now we're going to get into some of our spices. We're going to add our cumin and our garam masala. This is a garam that we have on the website. You can use commercial garam masala. There's so many different kinds. Pick the one that you really like. We're going to add the turmeric. And the turmeric is what's going to give that really nice summery yellow color to the soup. Then my salt. And again, if you're using sodium in your stock, just omit this. And our butter. This will make the soup nice and rich. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give this a quick little stir just to get everything incorporated. And we're going to turn the heat on medium high and we're just going to bring this to a boil. Okay, so our soup has come to a boil and this is its first boil. And what we're going to do is give it a stir and then we're going to add our onions. Our grated ginger. And our tomatoes. Okay, so we're going to give this a stir and we're going to let this boil continue boiling for five minutes. Now as far as the onions go, some people don't like the taste of having raw onions in their soup because sometimes the onions, depending on how hot, how strong their flavor is, may not, may still be kind of strong by the time the soup's done. So another option for the onions is to saute them before you make your soup. Soften them up and then add them already sauteed. That will provide some really subtle flavor without the bite of the onion. So we're going to let this boil for five minutes and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the heat down to low and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, so we allowed the soup to boil for five minutes and then we turned the heat all the way down to low so it could simmer for another 10 minutes. So what you want to do is have a taste and make sure that the lentils are cooked through. If they're not, just cook for another five minutes at a time. It's not a problem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the soup, we're going to turn the heat off, and we're going to add our spinach. Now I use frozen spinach, but you can easily use fresh. I just like to make sure I always have frozen spinach on hand. And then you're going to add the lemon juice. And you can add lemon juice or lime juice. It's the acid that really brings out the flavor in the soup. Now, where you take it from this point is up to you. 
you can do you you can blend the entire soup so it's a very very smooth soup you can leave it as is or you can do half and half and sometimes I like to make a double or even triple batch and then portion out uh, single servings or family servings and put them in the freezer and then it's ready whenever you want a nice warm cozy lentil soup that's it that's how simple it is I encourage you to give it a try and switch up some of your spices switch up the the veg have fun with it make it your own soup that's all for today we'll see you back at cookerynation.com